everybody thank you for checking out this video uh, today I'm going to show you the basics of a program to fit uh, all, all kind of data called FITIC so this is um, actually is free software you can download for free from the web page of the developer and just uh, remember to cite it if you use this program to process data that you are going to publish in any paper uh, you can cite it here so once you have downloaded and installed the program then I'm, I'm going to show you the the basics of it so first of all we want to load our spectra in this case is some spectra I took as a function of temperature of perovskite samples now it takes uh, a while while loading it here we see all the names of the data that we have loaded and we can navigate in this panel and uh, and and see the corresponding spectra to each of those one here we can change the width of the points and we can also connect them by a line this is the panel for the function here will appear the functions and the variables that that we will use so the first if we go to check the here the toolbar the first one is the zoom one we can use it to manually zoom and these other magnifying lenses are also zoom uh, uh, tools uh, this one is very useful is to view whole and this is in case we have actually zoom a small part and we want to um, uh, to zoom it just the height of it uh, by the way we can also zoom using this second panel which is the panel that shows graphically the error in the fitting right now it corresponds to the to the data is the same because we actually haven't fit anything so the error is uh, 100% and the last panel is the is a command line we can actually tell uh, by commands uh, fitic to do anything else and as I said we can use this panel to zoom and we can do it uh, with any of the other tools uh, which is very useful to not having to be changing the tool so the next uh, button is the uh, range uh, selection if we click with the right button of the mouse we can deselect as you see it turned uh, gray so now it doesn't exist for the program it won't fit, fit these points and uh, we can uh, select them back by using the left uh, button the next uh, option is adding a baseline this you can add manually by clicking with the mouse and select your baseline and to delete the point you can use the right uh, click of the mouse on those points and you will let delete everything personally I prefer to use uh, functions linear functions uh, or constants as baselines so that way it can defeat as well as the peak and uh, finally here we have the the tool to add peaks we can manually add a peak uh, sorry manually with this tool or automatically I prefer to use it uh, manually actually so as I said before uh, first let's add the baseline in this case will be uh, linear but it could be also a constant so I click here and drag and when I release the click it uh, it says the function I can click on this circle and move it around select it where I prefer to be but anyways it will fit it so don't worry and now for since this is a photoluminescence spectra I would uh, on first approximation I will try with a void function which is a convol convolution between a Gaussian and Lorentzian and there are two ways to add this peak first one is uh, clicking in the uh, summit of the peak and then uh, drag and release hold and release uh, to set the width and I have more or less uh, added a peak that kind of helps the program uh, when, when it comes to fitting it so I'm 
right now I can perform the fitting which is this button with the gears and the arrow and as we can see now here there is quite a big uh, error as you can see in the error um, in the error panel so I am not uh, that happy with this uh, with this fitting and uh, maybe this function is not the right one I we can change the fitting method but it doesn't really um, change that much actually uh, and there are some other some of these methods that actually uh, make weird things but I, I, I usually keep with this one if for example I use um, instead of a void a pseudo void The fitting is not uh, good either. I can also use an asymmetric function, which uh, here in this fitting are called split. So a split uh, void, for example. But it still is not good. So that's why for this type of spectra, I am going to use a custom function, which is instead of the convolution is just the cross product between the Lorentzian and the Gaussian and you are going to see that the fitting is much better and I also uh, take advantage of this and I will show you how to the second way to add manually add instead of clicking in the middle and selecting it let me delete it there is another way which is very helpful if you have several picks um, which is with the right uh, button of the mouse we click and drag and it automatically adds the a pick and it's uh, well the approximation looks good but let's let's see the the fitting okay the fitting is much better so I'm actually uh, quite happy with this result by the way the parameters of the function uh, are shown in this panel here so I can uh, manually change these values for example I can change the width uh, you can observe that the peak change the width I can also lock it and, and fit with this uh, width locked if, if I need it and uh, also a very useful tool to to change peaks once I have uh, I did someone which I am not uh, that happy or I want to actually uh, change the width um, is if I hold shift while I click and drag in the pick I can I can change the width uh, after having added it which is uh, as I said very useful and uh, to continue with the fitting I can go to the second data set and repeat the steps but that might get annoying if I have a lot of data sets or if the fitting is complicated to repeat it and add a lot of peaks it that actually can take a lot of time so uh, fitting has actually a very useful uh, tool which is uh, this one copy the function to the next the data set so I just copy what I fit and as you can see this is the previous fit and it's also really similar so I can even just start fitting and the fit is is good uh, um, also a very useful uh, characteristic of fitting is that we can use the scripts so so we can actually um, repeat this uh, automate this process of copying the function to the next one fit then copy fit and until all of them uh, get fit that's very useful if the if the spectra are similar here they only change in position and in height so it's very it's very easy to automate this process it, it will work if if it gets more difficult or there are uh, steps which are one very different from the other it won't work but in this type of cases uh, it works uh, I will explain it in another video how to use scripts and uh, and also how to do these uh, custom formulas that I use here in like the Gaussian Lorentzian cross product. 
Um, so now to finish, I will just try to export uh, this fitting. So I go to export points, select, select X, Y, uh, the model, the sum of all the functions, and usually I also want to uh, export all component functions. So I select OK. So I save the data. I already had saved in it, so I will just rewrite it. Yes. And I can go to origin and open open the file. So I select import single ASCII. And yes, this one, which is the one that I just uh, saved. So I have it uh, here and I can I can plot them. And now I can modify everything in the graph to make it look as as I want. And that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, Check out the next tutorials if you want to learn how to use scripts in Fitic or how to introduce uh, functions. So that's all. Thank you. Goodbye.